Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Mods of the Week. I am Stratos and today I am going to introduce several modes I have found on Steam Workshop. But instead of one game, I am going to introduce modes belongs to several games. So I am gonna just start with Space Engineers, let's take a look. Here I am in a mining ship over here, I just finished my duty. So I'm just gonna park my ship over here and as you can see that's a very large asteroid I mean it's really huge this ladies and gentlemen Kronos mining station so let's take a look at the inside of the station as I enter the station there's a great hall welcomes us. There's a nice security room over here. And I'm going to just explore the round. As you can see lots of refineries over here. Maybe some assemblers located in there too. I don't know. Let's take at medical bay. Yeah. So here we are at in front of the medical bay. There are several vats located in this bay. For example, if you're injured during mining process or some of the components exploded and you you became injured, you can just lay down and get healed. Also, there are several chargers, rechargers in this room, so you can just boost up your energy. Also, for some privacy, you can just close the window. when we just left the medical bay. Here we are, we have a locker room, several lockers located in there and you can change your suit like... I've changed the butt. Let's say I'm just gonna use this one. And as you can see, astronauts can change their suits over here can put their private stuff in the, into those lockers and let's continue and this is the we can call it mess hall I guess there are two nicely placed pool tables over here and you can let the oh, just you can let the light so you can see what's going on around here and there's a kitchen over here so you can grab your nice hot coffee you can just cook your meal over here nice fridge over here and of course you can eat on that table I think um, more tables could be added to this kitchen or into this mess hall because I don't think one table will be enough for all those astronauts and here we have a nice common room with two large beds God knows why <laughs> I'm just kidding so you can just so you can just spend your spare time over here And there are two large doors located in here. Let's take a look. Now we have a different place over here. It looks like a park or garden I guess. Because you can just plant some fruits, vegetables or, th or trees on this part. So, and you can just watch them grow enough oxygen I think it's possible also you can watch stars or asteroids and the traffic around your station from here I think that that view is really amazing 
imagine you are playing on this map with your friends or you are just using this map on a dedicated server and players are flying around you around this station I think it would look awesome and we are back to the battery place I guess yeah and there is an elevator located in here so let's take this one and we are going down awesome so we are so our elevator took us to the depths of the asteroid I guess or depths of the station I may call and I'm just following the downstairs we're going to see what's going on around here and just take this oh, oh wrong way dead end and I'd like to remind you this uh, station is working progress so these corridors as you can see are not filled with stuff or not enough lighting I'm still following the corridors over here oh there's a turret and um, I'm just going to take blue one and there's a purple one and all right as we followed the purple corridor there's a cargo container located in this room and have several stuff like ammunition yeah that's all ammunition and three interior turrets waits us over here and a throne I guess oh, I just can't see it. Ah, yeah well that's the most exciting part of this station because we have a stargate located in this room ladies and gentlemen and I'm just excited and looking forward to test it so yeah Chevron 7 locked so that uh, waterish or gooish thing indicates the stargate is ready to transport so I'm just passing through and here we are with the another level of the station over here refineries and uh, furnaces large car containers and I'm going to follow this hole and here we have a beacon over here the conveyor and then exit I guess yeah there are four connectors here they are probably located because uh, you just gather some ore with your mining ship you can just drop them here and these conveyors or cargo containers located in this place or room can take it to the large containers in the higher levels of the station there's another exit over here I guess in my opinion that station or that map is really worth a try I mean you can just invite your friends and set up this map on your multiplayer server I mean survival server and you can have fun lots of fun for hours and you will have a nice background that's really better than the classic one also I don't remember if I just mentioned about the creator of this mode and this mode has been created by O.T. Murdoch you may know him from the medieval engineers modes like Stonehaven and defensive siege on Ega. and I can say good job O.T. Murdoch and let's check the other modes I reviewed so here we are with the second mode I'm going to introduce actually it's more than one mode in this one because they have been created by the same person so let's take a look I have made this special room for the oxygen test we have a medical bay over here we have a oxygen generator and our, or and our ordinary air vent if you wanted to make an ordinary air vent work you need to put conveyor behind the air vent so as you can see from 
this place you, here we have a conveyor and then we have an air vent however however thanks to DG as the creator of this mode he created a new air vent called conveyor air vent which has a built-in conveyor so you don't have to build two components instead you can just build one of these and you can fill your room with oxygen right and also he created another vent which is a sloped I guess yeah slope and the slope one actually can be useful in tight spots I know I'm not good with the aesthetics so let's take a look at the other component and the other component I would like to share with you is made by the same guy actually by DJ and it's called conveyor hinge which gives you more freedom about moving the conveyors around if I wanted to use a grinder like this I should have several routers located in the middle of these conveyor tubes and I will probably will have some problems with that because of the connection well thanks to, well thanks to the DJ he he created those conveyors and they are acting like rotors you can change their direction from the control panel or the cockpit whatever you call let's take a look all right here all right I have made my setup for the conveyor hinge let's test this baby out <laughs> it's really nice actually like a robot arm As you can see, it's grinding all the way. Well, that wasn't the perfect combination to use that conveyor hinge, but you get the main idea, I guess. You can create more complex machines with a little bit more freedom with these conveyor hinges. And thanks again, DJ for bringing us these good components and let's check the other mode here we are with the medieval engineers again guys so I think most of you remember the behemoth which we have reviewed last week I remember so the Mr. Myers the creator of that mode created another battle vehicle for us so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Hades Trundler. Mr. Myers decided to improve his skills I guess so he made this battle tank. This beast has a catapult, a ladder to mount to the enemy walls so you can besiege their castle. So let's get going. And it's going to the enemy castle. I will make ready my cannibal. And fire! <laughs> I shot the behind wall. I have stopped this at the final moment. So let's attach our leather I'm excited to see how is it going to be so let's try it whoa <laughs> I just destroyed the wall at least top of the wall I can say and our battle tank is destroyed well that was my mistake actually I shouldn't be so close to the enemy wall 
<laughs> At least the ladder is working properly, it seems. Well, congratulations, Mr. Myers, for creating another great battle vehicle for the medieval engineers. I am looking forward to see your future designs. And this is the last part of the mods of the week. See you at the next week, ladies and gentlemen. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe. Have fun and have a good day.